Silent Hill Origins Short Game Review PS2 port. Travis Grady is a trucker who played a role in the events prior to those of the first game. This is set seven years before that game. And yeah, and of course we delve into his psyche as well, which is good because otherwise this game would be completely pointless. It doesn't particularly reveal anything new about the events of the first game. We see a couple of things that we surmised before, but it doesn't really add anything. And it at times feels like a remake of the first, with you going to several of the same places and some things playing out in much the same way. The game is excessively challenging and it doesn't allow you to alter the difficulty setting. There's apparently only one setting with challenging enemies who utterly swarm this game, especially the streets. It, it starts off kind of quiet but very early on in the game it just goes to an insane level and it just keeps piling on from there throughout the rest of the game. Challenging enemies, a really terrible camera. I get the feeling that this camera is typically used for colonoscopies because it rapes you in the ass. It is way too close, often to the side of your protagonist, refusing to even center view, which is the only control the player has of the camera, opting instead for static angles which obscure many of the enemies and sometimes even Travis himself. The game has numerous different melee weapons, all of which break after dispatching of maybe two enemies or so, forcing you to get used to another type of melee weapon before that one breaks as well. And even just when the melee weapons break in the middle of the fight, which is the only time it happens, you just default back to your fists, which are decent, but really not what you want to use against anything substantial as far as threat levels go. And it will take a long time to cycle to the next melee weapon. Why? Because they group it with the throwables. Also, a type of weapon which there's numerous different kinds of, and you, those weapons are basically one use, you throw it at an enemy hoping he doesn't move and mess up your shot. And I, I frankly found absolutely no use for the throwables at all. The atmosphere, the psychology, grotesque enemies, sound and music, and environments are still very much in the spirit of Silent Hill, although I can understand some by this point thought it had gotten a bit stale, hence shattered memories, but really it's just incredibly frustrating and it really doesn't add much of anything to the overall franchise. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.